Assalamu alaikum. This evening I thought I would plant some more sweet corn. So I thought I'd bring you guys along and show you how I do it. And um, I'd also love to hear um, how you guys uh, plant your sweet corn. Basically the way I do it is, um, this is how my parents showed me when I was all growing up and everything, this is how they did it here. So I start off by making my line uh, using a line to make my row as straight as possible and um, I usually do my rows about five footsteps apart because once the corn grows up and you know it'll bush out so much and then if you're gonna till in between there you're gonna need plenty of space to get your tiller or cultivator or whatever through the row so I always make sure I got plenty of width between my rows um, other than that I usually just make a trench maybe about oh three or four inches deep at the corner of the hole. And I just try to keep my holes close to the line without touching it as possible. It's not always perfect, but it gives you a fairly good, uh, fairly decently straight row. Now all I have to do, well the next thing, next step would be actually planting the seeds. So the variety of corn is actually peaches and cream, and it is $14 a pound where I get it. Um, I like peaches and cream, oh, it has about 11 inch ears. I really like peaches and cream because of the, the different color kernels. I like the white and the yellow together. I think it makes it look just interesting. And then if you melt butter over it, it just makes it look more buttery for some reason. Ideally, I would like to have a planter that you push down the row, but um, the last time I priced one, they are about $300 for a new one, I think like $375, so I'm just kind of waiting around for a consignment sale if I can find a used one cheaper. But up until then, this is pretty much how I do it by hand. I'm not sure exactly how far apart I'm putting them, but you don't have to be super close because obviously the, the corn grows up and it's pretty big around, so you don't want to put too many of them too close or they'll crowd each other out, but sometimes not all the seeds come up, so I usually put a couple seeds together and then space them. And even if they do both come up, there should be enough room for a couple of them.
the uh, that's the gist of it pretty much. Um, my next step would be obviously to cover the cover the corn. Now to cover the corn. Now the corn is officially planted. So here is a look at uh, the garden so far. Um, this is cabbage. We got two rows of cabbage. It's mostly green cabbage. Uh, there's a couple different kinds. There's a fast vintage and there's a, I think it's Dutch late leaf. Um, I wanted some purple cabbage, but they just didn't have hardly any. I do have a few cabbage plants that are purple. I really like purple cabbage. I think it's got a little bit different taste than the the um, green cabbage but either way it's good to eat I did have a few plants left over I was going to see if my sister happened to have any purple and I could trade her for these they're a little bit dry the water. but so we got two rows of cabbage um These are the peppers. There's uh, jalapeno peppers, uh, Hungarian wax. There's a couple different colored bell peppers. Uh, there's some serranos. Uh, and I think that's all that they kind of mixed. Um, over here is um, Broccoli and cauliflower in this row here. So in that row is mixed too. Um, I think the middle section is broccoli and then there's some cauliflower up there and there's also cauliflower back here in this end. And I this garden here I just have a tough time with growing cauliflower. I tried growing some over there yeah, a couple times and it just didn't do real good. And I think maybe it's not getting enough water I don't know or too much sun the garden across the yard there it's more shady there and I just really did good growing cauliflower in there so I may plant some more in there too just to make sure I get some these are uh, the potatoes some of them I wish I had I got these in actually uh, I don't know a couple weeks or a month sooner than I did but 
They are coming up pretty nice. Got a nice row of them. And over here. Is the tomatoes I get two rows of tomatoes um, there's a few cherries uh, a couple of the yellow cherries and then just the regular cherries um, and there's uh, some other early girls better boys and most of the rest of them are uh, Roma tomatoes for making salsa but yeah, we get two rows of tomatoes. Hopefully we'll, we should be able to sell at least one row of tomatoes. I think that's all we would use in our family is just one row. So we'd have the rest of them for sale. Uh, same with most of this stuff. We kind of planted about double the amount that we would need. So these are the uh, onions in this row here. These I planted late, so they're just coming up. I don't know if they'll show up in the camera. Like there's one there. They're just coming up. Uh, let's see, there's another one there. And here. And these I planted earlier. They're up already pretty good. And this way. And over here is the green beans. These are purple royales. They're coming up real nice. And these are just regular, uh, these are the jade bush beans here. It's starting to get that time where I'm going to have to get the cultivator and weed because it is. We had a couple days of rain back to back and the weeds are just popping right up out here. <coughs> um, this is the sweet corn. It's coming right up. We got three rows up. And I'm going to put one more row here, but I want it to let a couple rows come up so it's not all ready at the same time. So I'll probably do one more row in between here. And this is zucchini here in this row. And this is uh, yellow squash in the back row here. And then over here is uh, melons. This is all melons and pumpkins. I believe the first half is melons. And Then over here is, these are all pumpkins. So pretty much that is uh, the 
what's going on in the garden and uh, I'm gonna have to water here I think I'll probably just wait a couple more hours till it's almost dark because it's pretty hot today and we've been having rain almost every day and I th see everything starting to wilt a little bit with this hot weather we're having today but uh you guys have a good day and I'd love to hear uh, about your gardens how they're coming along and I will be sure to update you as the weeks go by on how this one is coming so anyways hope you all are doing well peace I have to say I am loving the warm weather really a nice change from there being uh, snow and ice I wanted to show you guys this too. I do have some barn swallows that are nesting in here. I thought I would show you. Um, there's a nest right there. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but just on the other side of that brace there, they got a nest going. And, uh, I found this egg on the floor here, right right down here on the ground. It was an egg, tiny little egg, tiny little, tiniest little egg I ever seen. It must be, uh, must have been a dud or something. But I just thought that was cool. I've never seen such a little egg. And I believe it came out of those, that a swallow nest there. Not sure where the parents are. It seems like every time I get close to that door, they take off. I wanted to try to get them on here, but I'm not sure where they are now. There is another nest I'll show you. here in the buggy shed we got this nest here going too I saw I'm working on it but anyways I thought that was pretty cool to see those nests there and the goats, um, the twins, said twins. This is Donna. And this is Debbie. And I did not pick those names, by the way. That's what they came as. But they're sisters, twin sisters. And so we know, you know, twins have twins. So these guys... Had some beautiful twins here. These are probably three weeks old. Where is the other one? There it is. Kind of dark in here. Let's see real good. But they're cute, cute little things. And <clears throat> this would be her sister, her twin sister. So these are her twins.
And these guys are probably just a week old. I think this one is really cute. It's, it's kind of red. I don't see a lot of red goats. 